Hi, welcome to my next video where we're going to look at the control panel and how it interacts with the modules itself. Uh, I'm going to go into a little bit of detail about the uh, panel now, but I'll go into a bit more detail on the next video when we actually look how to program and fire uh, a show on Pyroshore. First thing to note, there's an external power supply on this particular Pyroshaw, that's what we're going to adopt all the time. We can use, just believe it or not, AA batteries to power this system. Um, however, it won't last very long with AA batteries. With this power supply, a much more substantial power supply, it will last a lot longer. We turn the power supply on, the power supply is plugged in uh, where the batteries go. Uh, if there were some batteries in there, just simply take them out and the plug is underneath. Um, once that's plugged on, we can just turn the power on. Nice, good quality switches, illuminates green, so we know the power is on. You've just seen there that the screen has, has lit up and um, is now booting up. It's a couple of things happen when you first turn this system on. First thing that happens, it asks you for a security code. That is a security measure to make sure people can't... Um, uh, who aren't supposed to come and use this system. This one's allocated a, 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 a login code number three. We press that. The next bit that it comes to is it, it says how many modules are in this show? Well that's very simple. If you've got your script and you could see there's four modules in it, you'd put that there's four modules in the show. This one says three at the moment because I've got three modules out here. If you wanted to change that, you'd just highlight the number and type 04 if you wanted 4 or 05 or whatever number it is that you wanted. I'll mention at this point all Galaxy systems are going to go out with six modules. I'll explain in a moment uh, what that means uh, but we're going to have six modules for each system. I'm going to type in 03 because that's what we've got and press OK. We've now gone to the sort of what is the standby screen, the screen where we're ready to start programming. It's really important, again, to mention here that, for those of you that know about Cobra, the modules, the wireless modules, are paired specifically to the controller. There's a, a, a host of safety reasons for that, not least if, if you were at a competition site that a competitor's Pyroshore couldn't launch your display by mistake. The modules are specifically paired to the controller, and that's why we are going to have on our shows six modules all the time. It's not that you're going to use all six modules all the time, it's just that we're going to have six modules available to a controller because that gives us 144 cues, which uh, in terms of shows is, is a good size show. Anything from a small to a medium uh, sort of platinum in our package range size show. Um, I'll show you in a second how to pair um, modules with each other and I'll also show you how to number them. I'll just point out again at this point that our modules will be named and numbered. So every system will have a common name. I'm going to drag a name out of the air, but let's say we're going to call our system the Peony system. We'll have a controller with a label on it saying Peony, and we'll have six modules on it called Peony. The modules will also have numbers on them, and we'll just leave them set at those numbers all the time. <laughs> Excuse me. We can change the numbers if we want to, but we really want to keep things as simple as possible. So we're going to keep six modules assigned to one controller, and we're always going to keep them the same module number. So if you go out with a show with three modules on, you just pull out the box, modules one, two, and three. Pyroshaw likes to work sequentially. In other words, in a three-module show, it wants to use modules one, two, and three. It doesn't want to use two, four, and six. So it's always worth knowing that. If you ever want to change the number of a module, you shouldn't need to, but if you ever want to, you simply press and hold down the minus button and the number starts flashing. The first number starts flashing in this case. We don't want to change the first number, so I'm going to press the minus button. It scrolls onto the second number, and if I press then the plus button, we can scroll through. It was set at module 1, so I'm going to set it back at module 1. We press the minus button again, that stops them from flashing. <laughs> If we want to pair a module to a controller, we go into the settings here. And if I press on the settings, there's a number of choices on the settings. You can set the time, the key sound, the language, um, you can change the login code. We don't want to do any of that, of course. But you can use the add mod module function here. 
I'm not going to do it this time around, but the instructions are on screen. If you have a module that doesn't belong to the group of six that you need to add, you'd simply press Add Module. There's some instructions when you do that. It tells you the button to press to hold it down, to wait for it to flash, and it will then have paired itself once it's flashed with this system. Um, you then cancel out of that uh, Add Module function. It will tell you to turn the module off, <coughs> Excuse me, I've got a, a little cold at the moment. It will tell you to turn the module off and the controller off, and then when you turn them back on, then that will have been paired. Uh, over here I've got three modules, and they're all sat here, ready to go. And we can just show you in a moment um, just how the connectivity side of it works. I'll turn this one on. It's worth just noting, as I'm just having to do now, that from time to time they don't get connectivity immediately. Um, it, it, it does depend on the order that you switch everything on and off. You must switch the controller on first and then turn the modules on afterwards. If you do it in reverse then you'll end up having to switch the module off and back on again anyway. And when you're turning everything off at the end of a show, um, we'll look at this later on when we do programming, but you must disarm the modules after the show <coughs> and then go and switch the modules off first and the controller off last. Now, I've just gone through, I've switched them all on and off. If we look at the module, reference to the last video, down here we've got the signal strength uh, meter and it's telling us that we've got signal. So that alone is telling us that this controller is talking to this module. And in fact, if I look down here, all three modules, they're all on. Another way of checking that, I'm just going to use the escape button to go to the standby screen. In the standby screen, incidentally, this is where we have manual and semi-auto fire. Um, we also have project fire, which is uh, a facility we're not going to be covering in this video uh, or, or using, at least in the very near future. Uh, it's got the disarm button in here. We've already spoke about the settings button. Another interesting button, it's got system information. If I press that now, it very quickly just goes out. We'd already told the system there was three modules at the beginning when we booted it up. It's just gone out and it's made sure those three modules are there. And it's come up on this little display that they're all there, they've all got their unique serial numbers. And that's very much like on Fire One where you just do the, the very first um, module test. Just making sure the module's there. It's gone out, it's pinged them, are you there? Yes, we are. So we've looked at the modules in the previous video and about continuity, and we've just checked now how the modules interact with the control panel. Uh, in the next video, we'll be looking at how to program this control panel uh, with a script, a very basic script, the, 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 the important key points about how we uh, program that script, and then we're going to arm the system and fire a few button presses just to demonstrate the system. Thank you.